All right, this is Larry's video. And we're talking about doing the riffs that have the slides in them. And the pull-offs. And, uh, and one of the things we wanted to say was, first of all, make sure we're not putting our hands out like this and bending this wrist here. We want that a straight shot from the elbow to here. We want this kind of hand up. And look at the angle that our arm is at. It's at a 45 degree angle. So if you try to turn your fingers perfectly like this, it kind of is a twist. We're twisting our wrist. I think it works better if you just let your fingers, fingernails look at you at kind of a 45 degree angle up here. And and then so we can then we can do the slide. If your pivots on your thumb. You did pretty well with this. You weren't moving your whole thumb up and everything. So what we want to do is pivot. So we have to keep the pressure on that second finger, otherwise it disappears. Right? So we want to keep the pressure on it. And what we do is it's between our finger and our thumb. squeezing these two or whatever fingers on there you know that, that you know actually if you do this and squeeze the fingers against the top you'll feel it right in your forearm right here all right so then we're gonna go so then we're gonna that's the first half of that lift the second half it is all right so that that pull off Again, the fingernail is kind of at a 45 degree angle, and we're going to go. We want to practice this pull off. We're going to hit it with our thumb, straight with our thumb, the right hand. And then when we pluck off here, we don't want to just lift our finger. We get a note, but it's not very loud. So if we actually pluck down while we leave our first finger down, so that's, we want to do this as an exercise. Is it boring? Yeah, definitely. But it will speed up your uh, the good sound of your of your pull off. And, and we can even do notice how make sure I get a first good note. Now once you get it, you know you got a good pull off. Then you can go. You can do it faster. As you can come back in here. And put them together. Alright. And I think that's about it. You're doing great on Worried Man Blues. Uh, maybe work on memorizing it a little bit so that you don't have to read the tapestry so much and you can think about that index finger being playing the melody. All right.